someone asked me in the comments, you know, do I do any type of meal prepping? Do I get things prepared? And yes, I do some sloppy meal prepping. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a breeder. But I just take different types of food and put it in different types of um, Ziploc bags. Basically, like in this one, I have some beef and some carrots and some gravy. Here I have potatoes and it looks like green beans, carrots in that one. Same thing in that one. This one I got potatoes and chicken. This one I got uh, some beef, beef chunk with some tomatoes, carrots in there. And this one you can clearly see I got the peas and the lima beans, beef chunk, and I think it's some carrots in there. And this is what I use whenever you want your dog to behave or listen to you or really sit down and pay attention to you. Get them some treats. It doesn't have to be anything special. You can get doggy treats. I like to use beef jerky. So this is what I use. Beyond Meat Beef Jerky. It's plant-based, slow-roasted, and kettle-cooked. You know, I'm not a professional, but these are the ones that are on sale at Walmart. I got a bunch of bags of that. I keep bags of that from Walmart. So that way, when I'm trying to teach them, you know, when I'm working with them, when I want them to sit or fetch or do something I want them to do, you know, I give them a treat, you know, every time they do what they're supposed to do. And these things are very, very nasty to me. I don't like them. They taste terrible. But to the dogs, when I tell you they go crazy over anything like this, beef jerky wise, whether it's plant based or meat based. So this is how I, you know, meal prep with them. And here in this container, I got them some, uh, this is a special container right here I got them some chili beans just some chili beans I made with them with turkey meat it's got kidney beans red beans in it and I put a little bit of special secret sauce in there so yes I do meal prep for my dogs yes I do keep some stuff in the refrigerator for them and I keep them in ziploc bags I don't make enough to where I have to freeze it I only try to make enough for like one week but uh, I just use you know pretty much uh, canned vegetables with no salt added canned potatoes, you know, no salt added, and that's what I do. I just mix green beans, carrots, uh, potatoes, anything that that's good for them. No chocolate, you know, uh, I use pineapples, but especially no chocolate, you know, uh, no bones from any kind of meat. I don't put the bones in there, and that's pretty much it for that. I got beef and lima beans for them today, and I'm going to put the turkey and the chili beans in there for them. This is what it looks like. Let me come around to the camera so you can see it better. This is turkey, turkey, kidney beans, black beans. Okay. And then I got beef from a can. I got lima beans. As you can see. So they're coming, boy, they, they are around this table. They are around the table. So let's get it started for them. You know what I'm saying? Let's hook it up for them. Let's see how it goes. And, you know, I'm not going to do no special measurements. I just like to feed my dogs good. Don't got to be no special measurements. Nothing special. Nothing fancy. There ain't got to be nothing fancy. You don't have to do what you see people on TV doing. Nothing fancy. The fancy measurements and stuff. Because guess what? They're going to eat it no matter if you put a little bit or if you put a lot. They're going to eat. Boy, it's hungry. Let me, let me show y'all Apollo right quick. Come here, Apollo. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. This is more about taller than me. Look at him. Check him out. Check him out, y'all. I can get on his back. And this comes from the whole time I've had them. Look, he won't even mess with the food. I can put him up here with the food. He won't mess with it unless I tell him he can get it. I can mess with his teeth. I can mess with his mouth. He will not mess with the food. Rocky's right here beside it. And this comes from the whole year of me, you know, working with them. Training with them, it's raw meat on the table. It's all kind of stuff on the table. He's not messing with anything. Oh, you see, he put a little growl out. Go on, go on, go on, follow. <laughs> and then I'm still gonna use this pro cow, so I'm gonna give him just one scoop of that pro cow today. And like I told y'all, that kibble, I'm gonna give him two scoops. That kibble, y'all, that ain't nothing but McDonald's food, y'all. That ain't nothing, nothing that's gonna, that's not gonna help your dog grow. You know, no, no disrespect to any of the companies out there who do dog food. But you gotta give them some extra meat in there. You gotta give them some extra meat, some beans, some fruits, some vegetables, stuff that's gonna stimulate them like what they would eat if they were out there in the wild. You gotta bulk them up. If you want something like this, if you want, if you want them to be big and strong and tough, check them out. 
Check them out, y'all. One year old. Get down. Get down. So now I'm finna set the table for them. Now, we finna let them eat. You see Rocky over there chilling. Like I told y'all, Apollo, he'll sit at the table all day until I give him his food. He knows the deal. He know not to jump up there. So I got Rocky. I'm going to do Rocky first. Rocky, come on. See, Apollo's trying to jump up. So I'm going to get Rocky his first. Back up, Apollo. Apollo, back up. See, I back Apollo up. See, he's sitting, waiting on his. He like, where mine at? You see him looking? Rocky's always in. Come on, Apollo. Come on. You know you get the big bowl. Back up. Stop. See, I sit him down. See, he's sitting down waiting on me. His food is right there. He's sitting waiting on me. Right now, this food belongs to me. And once I tell him, good boy, go ahead. Now the food belongs to him. Let's see him eat it up, y'all. Look at that. I'm telling y'all, it's canned meat, it's turkey in there, beef, lima beans, kidney beans. It's all good for him. You see, he's the big boy, so you know he's got the big plate. He's the big boy. Now, as you can see, Rock is the little boy. He's the smaller of the two, and he's eating it up. And I never dreamed that I'd have a dog this. Look how shiny his coat is in the, in the sun. Look at that. Look how clean he is, how shiny he is. Confident. I'm telling y'all, all the myths you've heard about Rottweilers, Man, don't believe it, y'all. It's all about how you raise them. It's just like a child. If you raise a child to be a, a monster, if you raise a child to be mean and aggressive, that's how they're going to be. But if you raise a child with love, with rules and boundaries, that's how they're going to be. I raise these dogs with love, nothing but love. I try to give them the best food I can. I try to give them the most attention I can. And in return... They protect the house, they keep the house safe. They bark anytime they see any danger come to the house. And like I tell y'all in all the videos, I live in a rough neighborhood. So, I treat them good and they guard the kingdom. Look, he's really going to town. But I'm gonna see if Apollo can eat all of this. Do y'all think, drop down in the comments right now, do you think he can eat all this? Buffet style? Or do you think he's gonna leave some? So I'm gonna come back in about five minutes and we're gonna see. Now we're back, three minutes later. Paulo's still working on his. Come over here to Rocky section. Rocky done ate his. And he had, he didn't have as much, but he's ate his already. telling y'all this is what I always wanted y'all I always loved the way these dogs look but I was always afraid I was always afraid because of the rumors that I heard everyone always down talk you know pit bulls and rottweilers and oh they're gonna turn on you oh they're gonna bite you and don't get me wrong they can do those things but like I say it's all about how you raise them how you treat them if you treat them good, they're going to treat you good. He is going to town. And those beans, y'all, those beans ain't going to do nothing to hurt them. Uh-oh, okay. You see they smell something in the air. They looking around. Both of them stop. I'm telling you. They notice everything. If somebody pulls in the yard, they know it. If there's an animal in the woods beside my house, they know it. They pay attention to everything. Go, go, go. 
Go, 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 go. You can do it. Come on. Go, 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 go. Now, if this was anybody else's dog, I'd be afraid. But because it's mine and he just wants some love, look. He just wants some love. He is full. He is full. Let's see how much he ate. He ate most of it. So, Rocky's coming over here. I'm going to move Apollo out of the way. Come on, Apollo. Go ahead, Rocky. Rocky's going to come take over and eat the wrist. Apollo is full. His stomach has got bigger. Look at, look at this, y'all. Look at that stomach hanging down. I want y'all to see this boy's chest. Let me see if I can show y'all his chest. Look at that boy's chest. Good God Almighty. He just wants to love. See, he's going to sniff the bucket. He, he know not to mess with nothing. Yeah, he's good and full. So this has been another feeding video. Thank you for watching.